point in the evening when you're going to drift off into the F+. There's going to be terrible things here, but the things that will be read will be read with enthusiasm. And in the room we have Boots Rain Gear. Dread the two lions set me up for a one night stand. Frank West! I asked a dream charter if he had anything philosophical to tell me, and he told me to fuck off? <laughs> Come quads up! Sadly, my virginity was lost to the fat guy in Kangaroo Jack. I was definitely not lucid. So it really Money happened? bread. Does anybody else just try to punch and fuck things? <laughs> <laughs> and lemon, me, lemon, lemon, and lemon. <laughs> yeah, me, lemon. Plus, What's hey, up? Lemon? oh hi there! Oh, it's Lemon. Oh, it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been so excited. You know, we've uh, we haven't been recording a whole lot lately for various reasons, but um, but I've been really excited to get us all um, in the same room because I think that this would be exactly the right time for us to talk about our dreams. <laughs> mm. Wouldn't uh, that mm. be a fun? Uh, I thought you were going to suggest that we all just fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Please. We I've been sleeping the through these recordings for years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. That's, yeah. He's been sleepwalking through this. Um, but when, when you say dreams, you mean like our hopes, our aspirations, that, right? No, no, Because I want to no, talk no, about no. that. Oh, shit. I think, well, I think for our first our first ever six-hour episode, we're just going to share our dreams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seems like a good idea. All right. It does, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I have uh, a document uh, that's fa- given me fairly recently, and I am excited about the idea. Um, so it's a uh, yet another document given to us by Secret Gage in 69, um, and it is called uh, Do Redditors Dream of Erotic Sheep? Um, and I have uh, I have titled this document uh, Redditors Practicing Lucid Dreaming for Horny Reasons. Horny. Okay. Mm-hmm. Redditors and horny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This well, will we'll a, try. This will be a horny yes. Reddit episode. <laughs> so, so we're just going to avoid all the scientific measures? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, as a, uh, you're probably familiar, but just in case, uh, the concept of lucid dreaming is where you would recognize that you are dreaming while you're dreaming, and so therefore you sort of subject your own will onto your dreams. Uh, it's something that people do sometimes pay attention to and try to do for themselves, um, which is fine and, you know, maybe a good exercise, but uh, much better if it means that you can come in your sheets. And so that's what we're going to be looking yeah. at. Um, <laughs> as, 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 you, uh, as you are well aware, we're going to be starting things off on reddit.com, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, course, which yeah. um, immediately is giving me a warning uh, to not go to this website. <laughs> if, you, if you come um, in your sheets in the middle of a forest and don't tell Reddit about it, did it, did it really happen? <laughs> then what was the goddamn point? Yeah. You can't get upvotes that way. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. Uh, so, uh, so uh, I think, I think, I think, Boots, if you'll start mm-hmm. off with uh, the user by the name of Weed Tripper. <laughs> yeah. We tripper. (laughs) Lucid dreaming orgasms versus real life orgasms. Inspired by me having a lucid dream last night for the first time in months and immediately going for sex. I always find the sensation is much better when I'm dreaming. Maybe it's because I'm way more relaxed. Because in real life, I struggle to get it. Sorry, I struggled to get into it, and that stops me enjoying it as much. What is it in this particular case? Like, Sex. what do you mean by? Oh, do you think so? Really? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Get but the I here, damn it. 
Yeah, but I'm curious, which orgasms do you find better? The ones or, that come. Uh, and then uh, here's a helpful... <laughs> Or sex in general, I guess. I don't know. Oh, what, what is that? I don't. So, Weed Tripper which, has... Which organs do you find better or sex in or general, sex in I general. guess? So, Weed Tripper has sex in real life pretty frequently, but just, like, yeah, struggles yeah. to care or, like, be interested in it. Yeah. He's like, Weed Tripper, man. Find it fun or there whatever. There he goes. There goes Weed Tripper. He's a... Uh... I mean, maybe she's, like... A ten here, but she's like a six in my dreams. So. Oh, fair enough. Disgusting three D. <laughs> <laughs> I could fuck her in real life, or I could be Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a friend of the podcast Spooks, and oh, that's uh, a different so Spooks. <laughs> Are we sure? I don't know. Sure. Well, you're a sleepy Spooks. I'm sleepy Spooks. Spooks. <laughs> When lucid dreaming, I really don't feel much sensation. But I think wet dreams are much better than normal orgasms. Mm -hmm. I won't get into details and get gross, but that nut is so good that you don't mind coming in your shorts. Hey, you got gross. Oh, it just got gross. Sorry. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, uh, my name is uh, Hexent Armana, and I got 124 points for this. There's no climax for me in dreams. This is both a good thing and a bad thing. For men, orgasms is like firing a pump-action shotgun. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah? Come on, guys here. We can relate, right? I've, and that, and that, I've played Counter-Strike before. And that I often pump it threateningly, but nothing happens. <laughs> I do tend to call my dick the noob tube. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, feels great and is very satisfying, but after you've shot your load, you gotta take a little bit of time to reload. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. load and reload. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a poet. We're, uh, we're following, yeah, wow. shit. Yeah. yeah. In dreams, I can go forever, which is great, but eventually I want a climax, but can't. Orgasm denial is only fun when you can eventually orgasm. That being said, I tend to prefer dream sex simply because I can experience exotic encounters when they are literally impossible IRL. <laughs> like fucking <laughs> a human. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. it's your boy Pill Poison. Oh, hey. Hey, oh, so, uh, so, oh, wait, 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 hey, buddy. Um, yeah. How are they impossible, you know? Like, you mean actually impossible? Is it and it goes beyond the rules of space and time? You fuck, you know, through color? Well, like, impossible scenarios, like fictional characters and freaky fetishes and the greatest taboos. Sweetest taboos. <laughs> the nut out of space. Hey, I'd just like to quickly interrupt you. While you're answering this question, because I have a better answer for this question. My name's oh. SRD420. Yeah. You can fuck Elastic Girl and she can use her powers, shit like that. <laughs> okay, shit like that. All right, you can go back to your answer now. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> All right. No, I'm look, sold now. Look, look, because of how our society works, we're limited in what we can experience. There's just things you can't do without screwing your life over. In dreams, however, you can do these things. I don't actually have the greatest luck with lucid dreaming, but if I had perfect control, I'd literally want to try every possible sexual scenario, even messed up stuff that I'm not into. <laughs> you would want My desire to experience everything isn't limited to sexual stuff either. That's why I love the fact that my dreams are usually so vivid and bizarre. I may be limited in what I can do in real life, but when I sleep, anything is possible. <laughs> I'm Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> um, and then, uh, uh, come quest up if you'll please take a VIP Ten Chow. Well, I haven't had a lucid dream yet. No, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Hold on, hold on. That's an what update. The fuck? How much you bench, bitch? The rules are posted right there. Come on. Goodbye. As of today, he is tagged as three times lucid, many times close. Oh. So he's he's improved <laughs> in the month since. Yeah. What's close? Yeah. I, I, I sort of felt like... <laughs> Turns out I was awake. Oh, well. No. <laughs> Turns out I was just horny. 
I gave people suggestions, but they said no. Okay. <laughs> but I do occasionally have dream sex. Dream sex feels amazing. It's like a stream of constant pleasure. And as a female, I think I can speak for most other women that... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had that power. Yeah. We've, we found the one who speaks for all. <laughs> when I say that most of our arousal comes from mental stimulation to begin with, if we aren't mentally turned on, our bodies aren't going to be either. In uh, okay, um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll let we'll you it. Go ahead. In a dream, you have no distractions. No worries. You are purely focused on the sex and whatever is on is super... Whatever is going on is super hot. True, it true. often explores fantasies you can't in real life. The other night, I had a dream where I was being... <sighs> semi raped mm -hmm. by a friend. By a so like a Max Damn Overdrive uh, rape <laughs> thing? I just oh I am God. Stephen okay. King. <laughs> <laughs> Winner takes it all, loser gets fucked. <sighs> Obviously, I wouldn't want to get truly raped, but I think uh mm -hmm. <sighs> you think? <laughs> oh, did you just come? <laughs> but I think a lot of women do enjoy the thought of being forced by someone they find attractive. Thank you, I'm Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> like sure, I'm glad man? she's speaking for all women here. Yeah. Damn right. Or I think this is actually a semi truck who's lying to us. Yeah. I'm a Cummins. <laughs> Good. Great joke. Great joke. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> or maybe that's just me, lol. Uh, lol. It's true. Yeah. Lol. Weirdly, this is the weird part. This is the weirdly part. Okay. The, the, ad, <laughs> Hang on, the, folks. the adverb I'm using here for this part of my thing I'm <laughs> saying here. This is I the weird part. Focus. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. It's weirdly, weirdly gruesome from the Flintstones. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that was that's, that's, that's the deepest cut Flintstone reference we've ever had. Incredibly, incredibly <laughs> deep cut. And we've had our share, fair share. <laughs> Weirdly, I have no interest in said friend, but in the dream I did. Ha! Whoa, that's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, fucked up. Man. Yeah, his name is Carl, and here is his Reddit profile. And ladies should really look him up because he's probably super good at sex. By the yeah. way, yeah, his dick, I imagine, would be huge. Yeah, really hot, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, baby! I said I wanted to give you a really hot Carl. It's something totally different. A burning Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Try our new Molten Carl. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the best part is how everything just constantly feels good. And the orgasm comes easily. I usually wake up after it and had experienced a real one. So I feel amazing even after waking. But real life sex for me is also quite amazing. I suppose oh, really? it depends on who you have it with, lol. Uh, <laughs> you sure? You sure have a lot of good reasons to laugh out loud. Yeah. yeah. Or, or maybe it just took some experience before it got to a point that felt amazing. But I love engaging in it with my partner. <laughs> Let's engage. In yeah. It. Although it does take more time to. Build up and foreplay is usually necessary. I am Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. And there are days where it's just not happening. Mental distraction or stress or what have you. When it does go well, 
Oh, boy! What a treat! Are you here to inform the Reddit Collective what sex is like? Yeah. Yeah, somebody had to. Yeah, obviously that's ridiculous. Could you just maybe write say that again? <laughs> Actually, could you draw this out? Yeah. I'm having a difficulty little, imagining. A little slower. I just need to write this down. Oh, what a what, what a treat! It's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like an otter pop. <laughs> It's it's probably on the same level as in dreams on the best of days and a little under on other days. Fuck. Yeah. Worse than an otter pop. Uh. <laughs> that covers a lot of territory there. <laughs> I just wanted to yiff the otter pop. <laughs> on off days, obviously, it's worse. Okay, all right, great. So uh, we are only one thread in uh, to this document, and already we've realized that everyone here is sexually broken. Oh. Great, fantastic. Oh, we could have predicted that. Well, we could I mean, have, we could we have, but I didn't, think it, I didn't think it would happen with this amount of speed. I mean, we've only looked at one thread. I'm sure that uh, some of yeah. these threads have perfectly reasonable thoughts that come to reasonable conclusions. Yeah, that's that's why we did this show, the re- reasonable thought, conclusions. Lemon thought that it was going to take more build-up and that foreplay would be usually necessary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Frank, though? You might be right. Frank, you might be right. So why don't you just take whatever the next thread is? <laughs> when you have sex in a lucid dream, you are basically smashing or being smashed by your own subconscious mind. So... I've been thinking, is lucid dream sex just masturbation just on a fourth dimensional scale? Like 40 What's, masturbation? What is the fourth dimension in your circumstance? <laughs> your subconscious mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> Ain't you never watched that, uh, uh, you know, Star Trek? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's height, depth, width, Star Trek pieces. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? Height, height, depth, <laughs> width, boner. <laughs> I'll just take the first response here. Also, ain't Freno Ghost. All right. This morning I became lucid. Told the DC about how we were in a dream, and when he didn't believe me, I showed him my finger going through my hand. Then when he was convinced, we threw off our clothes and were going to go at it. But he had a micro penis. What's a DC? It's hot. District uh, of Columbia, New Canadian. <laughs> You're right. Uh, okay. Told the dream connection. I told the dream, it's dream, uh, tra- dream counselor. The other Dreamcock. 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 <laughs> we then both concentrated on making it bigger, so it grew a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm right now imagining, you know that mini game at the end of the Simpsons arcade game? <laughs> they have to blow up the balloon to rescue Maggie. Yes, actually. Oh, it's a, a, wow. a doctor of chiropractic. <laughs> <laughs> we even added a flesh clit attachment, like a rabbit vibrator. It was glorious. Best 40 masturbation sesh ever. Oh, wow, what? that yeah. does sound real good. Oh, real, my real. dear, my dear, my dear. I'm the Red Baron. I've come to uh, well, bring shoot. my thoughts. <laughs> and shoot at Snoopy. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm. This is his German accent. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh sorry. okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right, fine. I was trying to make it sound like a Red Baron pizza, but, you know, okay, fine. <laughs> That's a reference. That, okay. <clears throat> You guys want German or British? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Come on, tell me which part of Europe I get to fuck up. We're good, we're good. Do, yeah. do whatever's going to give you the best dreams tonight. <laughs> Always Chicago <laughs> accent. Always. <laughs> Chicago deep dish accent. <laughs> it is no more different to your subjective experience than normal sex would be. Hmm? <laughs> which is no more different than the masturbation. Welcome to Sprockets. In all three cases... You're experiencing the brain get itself off. Hmm? Nine? No? Okay, okay, okay. Whether there is or isn't a real existing girl or boy touching the supposedly real penis or vag on your supposedly real body or not is irrelevant to the experience being had, yes? Oh my god, I've just experienced sexual nihilism. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it must be exhausting. We like to think. We believe in your penises, Lebowski. Yes. 
We like to think the reality is fundamentally different, but to our subjective sense of experience, it is not different. The Buddha said all things are the substance of the dreams. Mm. Think about an optical, optical illusion. Okay, which the vase one with the faces? Did all of the, them! The, the fork where the tongue oh! is in the middle. Oh, okay. Is it two people kissing or is it my penis? The reason it can trick you is because what you see is the the brain's projection of what is going on, not what is actually going on. <gasps> Did I just wow. blow your minds? Yeah. The, the, yeah, also, well, I've learned that I've learned more. that the Reddit thread UI is a schooner. Mm. Yeah, we're getting real close to Hegelian dialectics. Thank you. What also, even is reality, though, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, well. Also, we are all aspects of the same singular unified universe, and the feeling of the separation and the individual existence is illusory. Oh, oh, oh. So on every level that I can think of, uh, yeah, all sexual activity is the 4D masturbation. Ah, Gesundheit. <laughs> Oktoberfest. <laughs> Uh, 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 my name's uh, my name's Humblebee's Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, you are having sex with a symbolic personification of your own mind. I would beware of these situations, though. It's natural, especially in adolescence. But as long as you can be seduced by an aspect of your own unconscious mind, you will not be granted access to a higher access to higher realms during lucid dream experience there are way higher pleasures to be had in the astral world than just busting a nut (laughs) if sex is your main focus during lucidity your your energy is most likely getting caught up in chakra number two Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit of green chucker in my in life. My life. <laughs> uh, for spiritual growth, I would advise ignoring sexual desire during dreams as well as Good. waking life. That's wow. your life energy. Unless you're making a baby, keep it. Oh having, my god! Wow. Having getting... said that, if you have a powerful urge, fight it at first. But if it refuses to go away, then satisfy it. Sexual Over energy time. is a zero cum game. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, excellent. <laughs> Pretty good, baby. Over time, after each little battle, you will gain more and more control over your sexual energy. Edit. If you're going to downvote this, at least have the balls to engage me in a reply. <laughs> balls in Reddit, huh? Okay. What do you disagree with here? I teach advanced lucid dreaming techniques, so I'd like to know what it is about this comment that you're downvoting, so I can tweak how I convey this concept to other people. Dang. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, right. plot twist dropped it. Is, is, is arguing with other people on Reddit also 4D masturbation? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Danny I know I Lithium. come every time. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Danny Lithium? <laughs> if you're so, fucking yourself, then you're gay. Lucid oh. dreaming makes you gay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All, right. All right. Later, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <Got smoked. laughs> um, Danny Lithium uh, has no down votes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boots, I need you to uh, uh, just troll through uh, Humblebees uh, just to see what else that guy might have posted. Oh, yeah. feel like he's probably got some other stuff about sexual essence or oh, like wow. fluoride. I feel like he's got opinions about fluoride. I shall go on an adventure. Uh, oh, anyway, um, so this is. Oh, a, wait, uh, can I read one other thing from Danny Lithium that's also in this thread? Yeah, 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 yeah. please, please. <laughs> I've had orgasms fucking spiders on Datura. <laughs> What? But that didn't make you gay? No, because it wasn't what? dreaming. It, was it wasn't dude spiders. Oh, yeah, 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 it was chick spiders. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's real spiders. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, so, uh, so I'm going to uh, be reading an OP here. Uh, but come up, you are a bot by the name of Cool Down Bot. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, uh, yes, right? Okay. So, uh, my name is, uh, Sean Knack, uh, one, two, three, um, and, uh, Sirius, 
Why are girls rejecting sex with me while lucid? <laughs> they are or you are? Or, Why are girls rejecting sex with me while losing? Yeah, yeah, you didn't determine whether you were... Th- Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday, I was lucid. Okay. Sked four women to have sex with me. All said no with a disgusted face. Hmm. I really tried to believe that they would be interested, but nah. Lamo, I'm still getting curved by people who don't exist. Help me out, Reddit. Uh, and then, uh, and then there were some comments, uh, and then a bot, uh, and then a bot commented to in response to that. Hello, I noticed you dropped three f bombs in this comment. This might be necessary, but using nicer language makes the whole world a better place. Maybe you need to blow off some steam. <laughs> in which case, go get a drink of water and come back later. This is just the internet, and sometimes it can be helpful to cool down for a second. I am a bot. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> September update. Wouldn't want to say fuck on a sex forum. And then, and then, and then, and then, uh, uh, Boots, what did fuck cool down bot one say? Oh, uh, sorry, I was, I was busy looking at Humblebee's, <laughs> uh, Sorry, fuck cool down bot so, one. So yeah, cool cool down yeah. bot responded with that. And then a yeah. user by the name of fuck cool down yeah. bot. <laughs> fuck off, cool down bot. Do you not fucking understand that fucking world is fucking never going to fucking be perfect fucking happy place? Seriously, some people fucking use foul language. <laughs> is that really fucking so bad? People fucking use it for emphasis or sometimes fucking to be hateful. It is never fucking going to go away, though. This is fucking just how the fucking world and the fucking internet is. Oh, and your fucking PSA? Don't get me fucking started. Don't you fucking realize that fucking people can fucking multitask (laughs) and fucking focus on multiple fucking things. What? Multitask? People don't fucking want to focus on the fucking important shit 100% of the fucking time. (laughs) Sometimes it is nice to You really are getting your point across. Fucking sit back and fucking relax. Try it sometimes. You might fucking enjoy it. I am a bot. Where's the... I don't don't think you're a bot at all. Uh, Uh, Frank, you uh, know something about this cooldown bot? uh, So I've run into cooldown bot before. So cooldown bot started, like you see, someone made a bot that would just occasionally find a post that has multiple uh, fuck words in it and say like, hey, sound like you're mad. And Why don't you walk away from the internet? Yeah. Yeah. This made people so mad that they made a subreddit called r slash fuck cooldown bot, where they got <laughs> super, like it was a whole community about hating cooldown bot. <laughs> and so eventually, um, someone made fuck, cool, fuck cooldown bot, which is a bot that would respond to cooldown bot every time it made a post with this post. But the thing is, is that cooldown bot would then reply to that bot automatically. Oh, so okay. for a few days until cooldown bot uh, was patched to not reply to this bot, like, all of the Reddit front pages were just, like, if you went to the bottom and, like, expanded the negative comments, it would just be pages of these two bots replying to each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, that's just, like, the... Pu- oh, this is how Skynet started, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's the purest ed- essence of Reddit right there. And then eventually yeah, the cooldown bot good. person posted like, hey, I guess I made you all mad. It was kind of just an experiment. I guess like I guess I can see how it's annoying, but also you all made a subreddit and sit around and talk about how much you hate a bot <laughs> all day and reply to it. So like That's oh my it's so fucking Reddit. Like like somebody made a bot to like, you know, have try to get me to take perspective of my life. Yes. <laughs> Fuck this shit! Yeah, I'm gonna set that on fire. Yeah, this- They're deeper! <laughs> That's just so the, 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 the primary motive of my life now is to be angry about this bot. Yeah. <laughs> Who's telling me not to be angry? Right. Uh, uh, Frank West, the uh, very next one in this thread. Um, uh, your name is Creamer. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Creamer with a three. <laughs> oh, I wanted to be Spider-Man, 
But I ended up dreaming about Sub-Saharan Funko Pops. Well, oh, typical. Yeah. 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 Aim for the stars. <laughs> you know, we know what you mean, guy. I am 15. I don't know why that's important or what it's going to add to the story. <laughs> I just wanted to state that. Mm-hmm. But last night I tried the fluid technique. Finger-induced lucid dream. What? Finger right, induced? Right. Finger uh, induced? Yeah, someone look that one up in your butt, me. and that helps you. Or like, <laughs> dream. like, oh, I hope that's it. <laughs> that's probably. I bet it's something probably. stupid, like you tap yourself on the head and be like, "I'm lucid dreaming." It's, or it's, it's actually literally that. Like, it is like <laughs> you fall, yeah, you fall Frankly, asleep. Yes. Well, Frank West well, already read the Prima like Games it. Guide to this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, uh, right now I'm on lucid.fandom.com. <laughs> oh, good. We can't still shove a finger up our butt, uh, right? Tell us what DC's, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got two hands, DC don't you? For. Okay, okay. I'm just, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to do it wrong. And, and mind you, this is my third day of keeping a dream journal and doing reality checks, but okay. it didn't work out so well. I went to bed around 2.30 and set my alarm for 6.45. Hmm. I've never had a lucid dream in my life. I just want to be Spider-Man. <laughs> Which one? Okay. Yeah. Spider-Man. Don't start off. No, 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 no. Don't just start that off. I'll even take the Tobey Maguire one. No, okay. no, wow, no. Wow, wow. That's God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I guess this was my brain trying to troll me. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you're 15, all right. I guess this was my brain trying to troll me and make my life more miserable than it already is. But I woke up two minutes before the alarm, and being the dumbest that I am, I just looked out my bright window while stretching, and two minutes later my alarm went off, and I facepalmed harder than I ever did in my life. What did that paragraph say? That, what the fuck does it matter? What, you I, woke up before your alarm, and that's the worst thing in the planet? That no, is, that is he the didn't worst really thing. wake up. He woke up in the dream. And then oh. he wasted those two minutes? I Maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Maybe? Oops, this is you, isn't it? I then quickly yeah. de- tried to... Are you Spider-Man? Boots, are you Spider-Man? No, you have to, you have to tell wish. me if you're Spider-Man. I've been trying so fucking hard, Bunny Bread. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've been trying to be the Incredible Hulk, so we need to hook up. Yeah, mostly I'm just a Funko Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I've I been then... the Sahara. <laughs> I then quickly tried to lay back down and go to sleep, but the inevitable had already happened. As I'm trying to go back to sleep and dream of web slinging around New York while nude. Okay. okay. <laughs> we all been there. As you do. I guess, I guess you're going for one of the alternative Spider-Mans. I just can't force myself to do it. Every time I think I'm getting close, I either get freaked out and start breathing hard and opening my eyes, or I try and focus on the blacks of my eyes and they won't stop fluttering. If anyone has any solutions to this, let me know. (laughs) So, I walk to my computer feeling defeated and looking for answers, but I just couldn't subdue myself to take a loss that big to a fucking alarm clock. What? And I march back to bed, still feeling tired for some reason. <laughs> Maybe because you got four hours of sleep. Did you goose step? <laughs> <laughs> and I had the weirdest dream I've had all year. Ooh. It first started out with my tumbling around in bed, still was awake at this point, somewhat angry at my grandma for coming in the kitchen near my room and slamming Ooh. cabinets for no apparent reason while I'm trying my absolute best to focus. Grandma, what are you doing? Yeah. Damn it, Grandma. I'm trying to be Spider-Man. God damn it. We've talked about this, Grandma. Stop coming in the kitchen. Yeah. Jesus Before Christ. Before 9 p.m. Why? is Spider-Man time. You know this. <laughs> I end up falling back asleep, and here's the entry from my dream journal. I live in this weird dystopian city in sub-Saharan Africa. The population look like frozen Funko Pops dipped in caramel. <laughs> They, they kind of look like my Reddit banner. Oh, good, good, okay. good. All right, well, glad you clarified. This weird, what I'm guessing is supposed to be an elderly woman, kills her husband out of self-defense. I'm supposedly one of the judges who decide her fate, death or freedom. I have to go back in time endgame style to see what actually happened. Ugh. I can... Shh. Shh. 
Hang on, hang on. This is going to get real interesting. I remember the bit in The Avengers where they went back in time to look at a <laughs> domestic abuse. Yeah. It's a weird turn. Um, the husband somehow comes back with me to the future and starts murdering residents one by one. <laughs> Okay. Well, good shot there. I mean, just well like done. every resident of the future. Yeah. Good job, Spider Man. You fucking nailed it so far. Your <laughs> enemies will define you, Spider Man. Can you face the might of the frozen Funko Pop Man, Spider Man? <laughs> <laughs> Beware! I kill my wife, Spider Man. <laughs> I'm dipped in caramel. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Marvel to, to have a yeah, that's gonna happen. Wife yeah, killer yeah. man. <laughs> He's the hero too. He doesn't have any powers. He's just he just, just kills guy. wives. <laughs> he keeps getting remarried a lot. <laughs> so wait, what's the origin story of wife killer man? <laughs> he doesn't like his wife. Doesn't like his wife. <laughs> he gets down to the final resident. Your faithful narrator. But I somehow kill him, but also kill the wife as a result. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> He's got a real big spear. You may have won, Spider-Man, but you have also lost. Ugh. Oh no, the <laughs> wife was underneath him. <laughs> I die as well from an unknown reason, and the husband is... <laughs> you know, just, just old age or, like, AIDS. You know, whatever. Supernova, whatever. Yeah, just go have fun with it, you know. Caramel allergy. Yeah. Uh, and the husband Shame. is torturing the wife in the afterlife. <laughs> he then get on a horse while facing me and proceeds to screams, I can lucid dream like ten times better than you. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. No. Ooh, faced, bitch. Oh, we got a, we got a <laughs> nemesis situation. Oh, damn. Serve, 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 serve. World star. <laughs> Which left me confused as fuck. Wait, maybe Wife Killer Man is someone else lucid dreaming in his dream. <laughs> Then I realized it was fucking Jake from school, my bully. <laughs> Which left me confused as fuck. <sighs> and proceeds to spear me through the heart, jousting style. And I wake up smiling <laughs> while face palming. What? Was he on a horse? Is that a standard thing for you? Like smiling and face palming? The- I guess. So you That's- killed. You, wait, you killed him, which then killed his wife, which also killed you. Then, after yes. all three of you were dead, he got on a horse. Yeah. In the afterlife. <laughs> Mocked you and then stabbed you with the spear. Yeah. This kind of owns. This is way better than lucid dreaming, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait! Oh, my God. Keep going. Oh, my God. S- super upsetting. I guess I'll never get to feel my balls against the cool Manhattan wind while web swinging <laughs> and running up buildings vertically. I guess zebras are cool, but, like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hello, Reddit. My name is Tom Waite. Hi, hi. Hey, man. Yeah. Who should I lose my dream virginity to? Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, nude Spider-Man only. That's the saddest thing I've heard so far. I'm Life trying to figure man. out who to fuck first, but I'm having trouble. I prefer anime girls, but IRL girls could work as well. Any suggestions? Could be from anything, whether it be real life, video games, anime, etc. Side question, who do you lose your dream virginity to? Mm. Hmm. I I have a related question. My name is Nimnom123. Well, hello and welcome. Would an anime girl be 3D or 2D? Okay, so if I were to conjure an anime character in my lucid dream, would they be perceived as a drawn 2D character with the drawing changing with my perspective, or would they be conjured as a real-life person? I remember there being an anime character in an old dream of mine, but I don't remember how they appeared. If any of you have tried, I'd like to know. Edit! Whoa! This is my biggest post on Reddit! <laughs> <laughs> 32 Brad million of posts. Fucking man. did it. <laughs> you did it, bro. Uh, come, what's up? Take uh, Myra Oyster? My, Myra my, Oyster? M I R A. Hello. Oyster. I'm Myra Oyster. <laughs> this happened to me. It was pure oh. hell. She was completely 2D in a 3D universe. From the moment she was created, it was a disaster. 
She kept causing ruptures in the space fabric as her 2D <laughs> form would intersect with my lucid dreams 3D space time. Meanwhile, they were screaming. They were in agony as I lacked the imagination to dream up working organs for her. Totally put me off my wank. <laughs> oh, I will return this dream. <laughs> Can I see your manager? Uh, hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, is, uh, uh, my name's Asher, and I'm a trasher. Oh, uh, is Asher is trasher. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I could Donner come to a safe Blitzman, place to talk yeah. about my trasher. In my ashen. Uh, I need to goddamn use some fucking lotion. Alright. 2D? Huh? Huh? Fucking. I mean, I mean, I've mean, i had an LD with animated characters. And, and for me to move, just like they do in the animes. Like they, they move the three dimensionally, you know, and whatnot. <laughs> oh. but, but if they say turn it aside, they still have that, that black outline, you know. So I, so I guess, uh. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I guess drawing changing with, with, with perspectives, and I never touched touching. I never tried touching one much though. Uh, when it happened, I was with uh, oh Christ, I'm not gonna pronounce that right. Dazayasamu uh, from Bangua Stray Dogs. Yep. Stray yep. dogs. Yeah. Uh, Bungie strays and dogs. If you watch it, huh? So we were just having a drinking in the bar, right? We were just uh, sudsing away and talking about depressing shit, and then jumped, uh, jumped of that building, jumped of the building. You see, in the opening song, I remember taking his hand before we jumped, and although it felt like a human hand, it wasn't warm at all. If you were trying to have the the you know Latter Day Saint sex with an anime girl, it would probably be hard. So, yeah. LD is learning disability sex with an anime girl? No, no, lucid dreaming. Lucid, lucid dreaming. lucid dreaming sex? No, yeah. no, I want my way to work. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, Boots, uh, you're also in this post. Yes, I've been deleted. I have been deleted. Yeah, no, been deleted. Sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, you're not going to be able to get a solid explanation for this one because there is no way to actually fully explain what it looks like. I have tons and tons of Dragon Ball dreams, <laughs> so I can give you my best shot That's how I at an explanation. <laughs> when you dream, Boots, he has Dragon Ball dreams. He screams in his sleep a lot. Um, when you dream about anime and you're no, and you're experiencing it like you're in that anime in the dream, then it's 3D and it's 2D. Whoa. No, not 2.5D. No, of it's not. literally both at the same time. Dude, that's mathematically It looks speaking, exactly impossible. like real life and exactly like an anime at the same time. Whoa, fuck, dude. That's the best I can explain it for you, but... Okay, well, you tried. You'll just have to dream for yourself to figure it out what I mean. And yes... <laughs> It's an enjoyable experience. Do you think I'll be able to find a picnic basket somewhere <laughs> along the way? <laughs> or at least some of that sugar golden crisp. <laughs> or, or any other cartoon bear, really. Exactly, yeah. It is not horrific or weird looking. It's fun. Don't worry about that part. But again, you'll just have to experience it for yourself before you understand what I'm talking about. Good luck. Uh, just, uh, scrolling back up to the top there, uh, as I said, uh, started this thing off as Nimnom123, uh, and Frank West, uh, found my, uh, this is my most gilded post, um, so I just wanted to share the post that Reddit thought was the most elusive, uh, to the community. For the love of God, don't tell anyone on r slash anime about lucid dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to preach my gospel to the weebs on how they could boink their waifus, and I lost 30 cum. <laughs> Stay safe when telling people about lucid dreaming. <laughs> oh, no. And then I got real excited about all my upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Wait, did uh, you get 1,400 upvotes for that? <laughs> yeah, sure did. Yep. Yep. Wow. My yep, yep, gosh. Yep, yep, yep. Sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Uh, Frank West, did you have a, a lucid dream that was, uh, uh... I fucked Bill exciting? Nye the science guy for science. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's the best reason to do it, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't do it for Bill Nye himself. Like, don't do it for, don't do it for revenge. <laughs> yeah. I fucked Bill Nye for, for revenge. I just woke up from one of the single strangest dreams I've ever had. I somehow... Fucked Bill Nye the science guy in the bathroom of a rainforest cafe. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. Worst part of the whole dream was that the sex was good. I'm angry. Please help me interpret huh. this dream before I lose my mind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a quick follow-up question there, the ordained minister. Just yes. a quick follow-up if I could. I'm sorry. Um, I just, uh, I just wanted to know, uh, did Bill talk to you while in your dream? Uh, I can't remember, but he definitely slapped my ass. <laughs> okay, oh, thank okay. you. No further questions. That's the same thing. <laughs> thank you. Nice. That's how I communicate as well. <laughs> um, um, uh, uh, Kumquat Slap, did you learn anything recently? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been doing some, doing some research. Uh, last, last night, I dreamt that I figure out the Titanic sinking was an inside job for some reason. Okay. 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 <laughs> the inside job! <laughs> <laughs> so big iceberg was... What, what was Icebergs <laughs> can't melt still beams! <laughs> my, my best guess is that it's a mix of seeing the compare of the Titanic sinking and covid and how people mm -hmm. would react all be it unrealized to cly okay. okay and then uh and then uh, buddy bread uh hello goodbye 40 wants to compare some notes hello i'm goodbye 40 mm -hmm. wow <laughs> it was period <laughs> John, Jacob, Astor, Ben Guggenheim, and Isidore Strauss were, were against establishing a central bank in America. So J.P. Morgan. sink a big ship? Mm, yes. Okay. Someone's catching on, but, but no questions till <laughs> oh, the end. Oh, I see you read ahead. Mm. <laughs> J.P. Morgan was for it, thus mysteriously absent from the maiden voyage. He and the powers higher had the three murdered most foul. Oh, wow. wow, it's dumber than I thought. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It gets dumber. Titanic had a coal fire that burned for days before it left Southampton. You're saying somebody this... lit something on fire in a steamship? Mm -hmm. Some, yes, a long time ago. <laughs> yes. This was to ensure the metal was soft enough. Though. I personally Wait. think. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, they've been missing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, Icebergs can't melt titanium. <laughs> the Titanic was literally arc welded at sea. I have, dis <laughs> I have discovered that there was a fire burning on the Titanic. <laughs> there were, they built it, was, it along the way. It was burning on the, on the dance voyage. floor, even. A thousand hours of research, I have determined that there was a coal fire burning on the Titanic. <laughs> Yes. It's pretty suspicious they just happen to have all that coal there, frankly. Yes. <laughs> and a boat. This was to ensure the metal was soft enough. Though I personally think they positioned an archaic, archaic, a German submarine around the area where it sank. Okay, just for a tableau. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why other ships were slow. We're slow, too far to respond. And the flares equipped, of course, of course, the wrong color. Of course. Oh. oh, no, it's an emergency flare, but it's a different orange that I'm used Let's to. Let's not respond, then. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the wrong hue of orange. I would have gone, but there's a submarine over there, so never yes. mind. Yeah, it's fine. The submarine has them. The lax law of few lifeboats combined with the convenient practice at the time of women and children first allows the officers whom... Whom were in on it to brandish pistols against men who tried to enter. Of course, yeah. Okay. All the officers who then also died. Yes. 
There were We're going to get so rich once we fish us out of the... Oh, yeah. oh dear. <laughs> there were two boats above the officer's quarters to ensure the inn guys were able to make it out alive. Captain uh, Smith couldn't live with it. Course, couldn't live yes. with it. Secret escape boats. Mm. One Which officer... Shoved into torpedo tubes. That's just to be well. stealthily left. Why else have torpedoes? Captain Smith couldn't live with it. One officer, whom mysteriously was replaced days before the voyage, had keys to cabinet that had the binoculars. They had the one on the ship. It was all arranged to that the lookouts couldn't properly anticipate any bergs. There is a video on Brightside. In the Arctic? Yes. Okay. Never mind. Yep. Uh There is a video on Brightside that says of a man who heard explosions. Any skeptic easily says that it was the boilers, but won't entertain that it could have been a torpedo. (laughs) Uh, uh, Okay. Not okay. I'm trying to illustrate why it's not okay. Yes. Mm It's you know, the German fuck. submarines of 1912. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a very strong torpedo, which is why they had to pre-immolate the ship <laughs> to prepare yeah. it. Yeah. In retrospect, also, there were mistakes made. And also made. They, had to, they, had, they had to put the iceberg there as well. Yes. <laughs> oh, good point, yeah. It, it, yeah. it is provocative to hear all, yeah. not trying to arouse well, anything. Well, you failed. Some, you failed. Some people who were even alive then, and whom were to travel the ship at the time, had dream premonitions of its sinking, and thus skipped. And I forget who those were. Yay! Yay! In it! This is important! Yep. Federal Reserve Act of 1913, one year later, and guess what day is tax day? Mm, yes! Uh, I, good day. Is that, is that what day it is? I, it's the day of 1913. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I know I'm, I know I'm already, just from title alone, in love with this thread. Uh, come quest up, what's the next thread called? Wet dream involving attractive women that morphed into men. I'm not gay. <laughs> Yay! All right. you hit that one off at the pass, sir. Hello, my name is Busto Boy. I'm pretty <laughs> sure the dream started before this point because I remember having a conversation with a friend in my dream about cool places in the world and he brought up to skyscrapers and then suddenly I'm sitting on the ledge of a window on a Tokyo skyscraper. The fall would have been deadly so slowly I pushed my body weight back into the building with my hands while still in a sitting position. When I was inside the building there was a pretty Japanese woman who I talked to for a few words before an extremely attractive Japanese woman walked in. She looked like a prettied up model. This woman was pretty flirty in an extremely short time. He was willing to perform fellatio on me. Oh, this sounds very not gay. I accepted, and after noticing us, the other woman joined in. It felt pretty great, but then at one point we heard voices of people walking around the building, and we wanted to make sure we weren't getting caught. I look behind me for a few seconds to make sure no one is near enough to see us while I still feel the ladies suck on my dick, but... Then, when I look back at the women, they have turned into generic white men. The pleasure Ow! remained the same. It was slowly rising the longer the women sucked. Excuse me, buddy. <laughs> so it was pretty high by the time they changed, and so I had a wet dream. I am not gay. I want to know why this happened. Honestly, this dream character morphing thing has not happened. to the manager. <laughs> Before I accept not clearly like in a traumatic way like this. For example, last week I had a dream I was babysitting my niece and something happened that made me look away, and by when I looked back, she was a certain YouTuber. <laughs> okay. Feel free to analyze any part you want, but I have two main questions. 
Number <laughs> one! Why did I finish when they turned into men? Why wasn't I disgusted and stopped right away? Number well, two! You mind, I'm not gay! <laughs> figure out the answer to that question. Maybe you should do a little bit of soul searching. Yeah. Number two! Why do I have a problem in my dreams where characters morph and change? <laughs> Jesus. That's not your problem. Okay, okay, that one's pretty obvious. Nah, gay men can't melt steel beams. <laughs> yeah, that guy. It's us, the generic white men. We're here to finish you. <laughs> just like, just like a horde of three. I'm four, Brett. Like... This is Chad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell start... us apart. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're what you really want. I like Jack Johnson. We have khakis and... on and blue shirts. We... We'll start you out on the sexy Japanese ladies, but uh, eventually tap in the generic white guys to finish I like you Jack up. Johnson, and he likes Jack Johnson, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, me. My name's Eliro. And I want to tell you about... I want, I want this dream interpreted, but we're not going to hear about the dream interpretation, because that's the boring shit. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, smoking a blunt with God. <laughs> Did you fuck him? Did you fuck him? That's uh, that's some real dank juggalo poetry, dog. Yeah, but he I, I fucked him, but he morphed into a generic white guy. Oh no! <laughs> um, no. Um, these dreams were a couple months ago. I am F twenty nine, white American, introvert, empath, INFP. I've already okay. Yeah. Personality type. I know what you are. I'm both an inf- invert a and dick. an INFP. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, introvert, mm-hmm. sorry, not invert. I don't know what that is. Had, <laughs> had uh, two, maybe three dreams. Can't remember all the details now. In one of them, I was in space in another universe for a while. When I decided to come back to our galaxy slash Earth, I went through this galaxy highway tunnel of sorts. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. As it one took does. me to this living room. There was a couch Ooh. behind us, a TV in front of us. I was sat Indian style on the floor with three other people I didn't recognize. The person to my right was an older white man who looked like a hippie. Long gray hair to his waist, a headband, glasses, tie-dye shirt. He was rolling a blunt of colorful snakes. And it was an acid blunt. Mm. My dreams that week continuously had colorful snakes. So was God the one that introduced Beatles, the Beatles to acid? I was scared to hit an acid blunt, but decided I wanted to try it. Even more so when I found out the guy to my right was apparently God. Oh, so it wasn't. Okay, all right. He passed cool. a snake acid blunt around and I hit it twice. When I found out I was smoking with God, he said I could ask one question. I tried asking multiple questions, but he just answered in his vague, chill style that hippies answer in. I was so relaxed, calm, and happy. Fuck yeah. After chilling a few minutes, I woke up. Anyone else have a dream where they met an entity such as God? I met Brett and Todd once. That's close enough. (laughs) And then they suck my dick. I have, I have sort of, I have sort of a similar story. Uh, my name's Emma Lond. Um, so, so sex dreams aren't anything new, but this one dream last night just wow, the most intimate, romantically booming dream. I started making out with this woman about like seventeen or eighteen years of age. I'm seventeen. Um, <laughs> And it quickly led to a very slow and, and romantic intercourse. Get the fuck off Reddit right now. Uh, slow and romantic. Well, hang on. So okay. I woke up being able to... I, so I woke up before being able to finish off and get her pregnant. What the fuck? Oh. That's what, that's what, yeah. Mm-hmm. So when waking up, I quickly realized that the woman in the dream was the Virgin Mary. Right. <laughs> Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm no, well, I'm not, I'm not a, she isn't. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not a religious person, but I'm into the idea of spirituality and the works of Carl Jung. <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> oh, boy. Like, oh. Half, half of the users on this that I've looked up, their other posts, yeah. like yeah. Jungian and shit just keeps showing up. Well, yeah, exactly. Jung believed in two things dreams and that you can turn lead into gold if you provide yeah. enough heat. 
Um, Jung would have definitely been a redditor, right? Like, he would have moderated like all all day, all day. (laughs) Um, uh, What's the origin of Virgin Mary? (laughs) (laughs) Her origin story? Oh, yeah. Like, her Uncle Ben was killed by a robber. Uh, Uh, So, yeah, yeah, no, I just, uh, I've heard. Yeah, she she was introduced in Virgin Tales issue number 13. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was a a hot one. That was a, and obviously Tales is spelled T A I L. Yeah, that's also the, uh, that's also the issue with the introduced wife killer man. (laughs) (laughs) Killing me so much. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, with the origin of Virgin Mary, I've heard of her through Christianity by my father. <laughs> oh, okay. My father is God, by the way. Do I know? Do I know Jesus? I mean, I know of Jesus. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Uh, so, uh, the last section, uh, once again, uh, this document, like so many others recently, has been provided to us, uh... <laughs> sorry, I read it! It's fine! <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, this most recent, uh, document, uh, given to us by Secret Gage in 69, uh, and it is, uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff that we did not read on THEFPL.US. Uh, but Frank, this is a very, very quick hit. Um, if you'll just take the next thread down, yes. please... Please do not pee while lucid dreaming. You will wake up with pee and pant. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> yeah, my name's Swimming Turtle Two Five Seven. Hey, I could pee in my dreams without peeing IRL. Nice. <laughs> Look at you. He is the chosen one. <laughs> but he can't come ever, like in real life or in dreams. Unfortunately, he uh, made choices. A a buddy, buddy, can you take Sponzi? <laughs> Sponzi? Sponzi. <laughs> there you go. Is it S P O N Z? S P O D S Y. Oh, good. Sponzi. Oh, that's so much sadder than what I had in mind. Right. <laughs> nah, bro. Hey, it's your boy Sponzi. Hey. Sponzi. Nah, bro. In one dream, I peed out my window before cutting my waiter off. And when I woke. <laughs> And there's an and here. <laughs> when I woke up, I was dry and still had a donor. Yes, and yes, and <laughs> I was dry and still had my donger right there, right? Granted, I wasn't fully lucid until after I cut my wang off and was left holding it, and wondering what I'm supposed to do next. Just sitting here holding my holding my, wang. my dick in the wind, bro. Hey, I'm a dude guy, man. Why'd you cut it off? <laughs> cause, cause I was fucking done peeing, stupid. <laughs> and uh, and, and come quiet, you've got a completely different story to tell your immortal meme lord. <laughs> I, I once cut my wiener off in a dream with a box cutter and then tried to graft it back on slightly over so like with a plant it would grow bigger and stronger but then I realized that's how not that's not how science works and freaked out woke myself up <laughs> how's your donga now but did you pee your pant yeah <laughs> did you pee in did you pee in pant did pee you pee in pant, pant or what <laughs> Did you wake up with pee and pant? <laughs> so, uh, what do we learn from any of this F plus? <laughs> I, I learned how not to wake up with pee and pant. Yes, yeah, it's about time. <laughs> if you pee in your dreams, you'll pee for real. <laughs> 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 and got that whole time without a single Nightmare on Elm Street joke. So, yay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, what yeah. have we done? Let's go re record. Hang on. Okay. We can okay. start from scratch. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, I mean, uh, the, the gamesmanship is, the gamesmanship is really great. Uh, I really, uh, I really loved, uh, setting the stage on, uh, you know, obviously I've had sex all these times and it's, uh, fine. Uh, but obviously, <laughs> Like, yeah. like, uh, uh, fucking Sailor Moon in a dream is is where the real action yeah, is. It's, I'm sure, yeah, fucking women is great because I fuck like thirty of them. They're all, oh, like, all the but time. but fucking like, Beetle Bailey is so much cannot, better. Cannot get it's enough. It's great because you're just yeah. like, oh, turn sideways so I can see your outlines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, dude. She's both two D and three D at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Wrap your head around that. 
You have to be careful because your two-dimensional like side is presumably infinite. Well, because oh, yes, because, it, because it's four D masturbation, right. so you know. Mm-hmm. Just... That's four dicks involved. Yeah. Is what he's saying. The only the only four D sex I need is my two two D Y. Well, yeah, it's got, it's, <laughs> added it's got it's got the X, the Y, the Z, and the D axis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our website, as always, thefbl.us. If you add a slash merch to that, you can see merch that's available, uh, which does change because everything is limited edition. Uh, and Ball Pit is a thing that exists on the internet. Bye. Woo! Bye. Bye. This episode was all a dream. You were dreaming it. Also, you're coming. And there's pee in your pants.